Imagine traveling in a bus and suddenly two ghosts enters in your bus. Such an incident happened in China. Hi there. Welcome or welcome back to my channel Knowledge Noa. And in today's video, let's discuss about the haunted bus number 375. On 15 November 1995 at around midnight bus number 375 departed from the Yuan Ming Yuan bus terminus which is a few kilometers away from Beijing the capital of China this was the last bus of the night and its destination was Xiangshan which is also known as Fragrant Hills that is situated in Haidan district the distance from Yuan Ming Yuan to Fragrant Hills was around 16 kilometers the route of the bus was route number 375 On board the bus were the driver and a female conductor. The night was very cold and strong winds were blowing. After traveling for some distance, the bus stopped at the south gate next to the Summer Palace and when the doors opened, four passengers got on. The passengers included an old lady, a young couple and a young man. The young couple sat up in the front seat behind the driver while the old lady and the boy sat on the other side of the bus near the doors. As the bus drove through the night all they could hear was the sound of the engine as it was midnight and hence very quiet It was a quiet isolated area and there was no other vehicles or persons on the road It was quite a chilly night as it was a month of November After passing for 2 to 3 stops the driver spotted two shadows by the side of the road waving at the bus These persons were not standing at the bus stop but quite ahead of the next bus stop At first the driver hesitated to stop to take the passengers but the lady conductor insisted that it was the last bus and if they did not allow the passengers to board then perhaps they would have to spend the entire night in the road and the next bus would arrive the next morning the driver stopped and when the doors opened they saw that there were not two but three people that got on there were two men who were supporting a third man between them holding him up by his shoulders the man in the middle looked untidy and messy and his head was bowed down so nobody could see his face all three were dressed in traditional chinese robes from the qing dynasty and their faces were deathly pale these passengers went straight towards the rear seats of the bus and sat there the other passengers who saw these weird looking passengers on the bus were scared and glanced nervously at each other as the driver pulled off and continued down the road the female conductor tried to calm everyone down by saying that don't be afraid They may just actors shooting a costume drama in the vicinity maybe they got drunk after work and forgot to change clothes in the urgency to board the bus the old woman kept turning back frequently and stared at the three strangers who were seated at the back of the bus there was an eerie silence none of the passengers said a word all they could hear was the wind blowing outside after three to four stops the young couple got off the bus and the bus continued to its destination now there were seven people in the bus that included the young boy the old lady the driver the lady conductor and the three recently boarded passengers the night was cold and dark and the bus driver and the female conductor were chatting and laughing with each other the old lady suddenly stood up and hit the young man sitting in front of her she was shouting and making a big commotion telling everyone that the boy had stolen her purse the young man stood up and started arguing with her and said that he had not stolen her purse But the old woman insisted that it was he who had stolen her purse. She grabbed him by the collar and shouted that the driver let them off at the next stop so that she could take him to the police station. The young man was astounded and also quite angry at the false accusations. The lady conductor tried to calm down the old lady, but she would not listen to anyone and kept on insisting to stop the bus in the next stop. The bus driver finally stopped the bus in the next stop and the old lady dragged the young man out holding by his collar. They watched as the bus drove off into the night and the old lady breathed a sigh of relief when the young boy looked around he saw that there is neither any police station nor any person seeing all this the young boy got angry and confronted the old lady saying that because of her he had to let go of the last bus and now he will be unable to reach his home he then asked her where is the police station the old lady replied that there was no police station and she just saved her life she said that she had no other way other than this to help him get off the bus so that no one could doubt them the young man got puzzled after listening to her and asked her how she saved her life to this the old lady replied that ever since the three weird passengers got on the bus she had her doubts about them so she kept looking back at them it so happened that suddenly there was a strong wind blowing going through the window and she saw everything the wind lifted their long robes and she saw that they had no legs she decided to save his life along with her life so she put a false accusation on him and made him get off the bus if you are liking this video so far 
please press the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. Now back to the video. After listening to her, he started sweating and couldn't say a word. He stared at the old lady in surprise. Then they went to the nearest police station and narrated about the weird looking passengers, but the police dismissed their story. The next day, that is on 15th of November, bus number 375 that departed from Yuan Min Yuan bus terminus failed to report at the Fragrant Hills bus terminus. It had vanished along with the driver and the female conductor. The police searched the entire city but could find no trace of it. That night, the Beijing Evening News and the Beijing News reported on the story. The old woman and the young man were both interviewed live on TV. After lots of police search and investigation, finally two days later, the police eventually found the missing bus. It was submerged in the Mion Reservoir, about 100 km from Fragrant Hills. Inside the bus, they found three badly decomposed bodies that included the bodies of the bus driver, the female conductor, and an unidentified man. There were a number of other mysteries that surrounded this case. Number one, who were those three people that boarded the bus and how did the bus end up in Mewin Reservoir despite its destination being Fragrant Hills? Number two, the bus did not have enough fuel to drive up to 100 kilometers all the way up to the Mewin Reservoir and when the police opened the petrol tank, they found that it was filled with blood. Was the bus running with blood? Number three, even the bodies were found only two days after they disappeared. They were very badly decomposed. Even if it was summer, the process of decomposition could not not be this quick, but it was the month of November when the temperature even drops below freezing, and even then the bodies decompose in such a way, how could the bodies decompose so quickly? And number 4, the police did a thorough inspection of all the security camera tapes on each entrance leading up to the Mewin Reservoir, but they could not find the bus in any security footage. How could the bus get there without being seen by cameras or even a person? Some people believe it to be a myth and some people actually believe it. To this day, it remains an unsolved mystery. That's gonna do it for today. If you like to today's video then please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to receive all future updates. I hope to meet you in the next one. Thanks for watching.